I didn't say anything. I think I said, okay, quite a lot. Yes. Am I able to go to the front? I don't know whether you quickly can. It's not my business, but you can go. <laughs> okay, so, do you want to start then? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do today then is we're going to revise what we looked at yesterday with our highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So highest common factor and lowest common multiples. And we're going to look at it in much bigger numbers. So obviously in mentals we did it with 25 and 30, which, is a small, which are small numbers, but this time we're going to look at bigger numbers. Now, um, one of the things that came up in mentals as well was this phrase, the product of the prime factors, okay? Now, if we look at just a normal number like 12, its factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. But which of those are prime factors? All right. 2, 3, and 2 and 3. That's right. 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are prime factors. Now, what that means is, is that you can make 12 by using only 2 and 3 and a multiplication sign, okay? Because product, meaning multiply, prime factors, two, three, five, seven, etc. So how would you make 12 from just two and three and multiply, multiplication signs, Cody? Um, you would do, you could do two times three times three. Oh. No. Three times, uh, times, that would be times two there. Two again, that's right. So two times three times two, two times three is six times two is 12, or you could do two times two times three, or you could do three times two times two, etc. Why doesn't it matter? Because it's <coughs> a prime multiple. Multiplication is what? What's the phrase? It begins with a C. Com Commutative, do you remember? Commutative <coughs> means it goes in any order. Okay, so they're your product of your prime factors. So that's what a pro the product of prime factors means. It means you can make that number only using the prime factors and multiplication signs. Now, if we have bigger numbers, the way we find the prime factors is by using the factor tree like we did yesterday. Jasmine. Uh, if you have big numbers, is it like a really easy way to find just the factors, not prime factors, just factors? Uh, not really, no, factors. you'd have to list them. So this is why we do it with a factor tree, okay. because the prime factors help us with more things, okay? So let's have, I don't know, 240 and 370, just given to me by Master Oren, okay. So the first thing we need to do, if we're going to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple, is find the prime factors. I don't know what the factors of 240 are, all of them. I don't know what the factors of 370 are. I definitely don't know what the seventh multiple of that one is, or the ninth multiple of that one. I don't know, but I don't need to if I use this method. So. Who'd like to have a go at doing the factor tree for me? Go on then, Jodel. Um, two and 120. Lovely. So we'll circle the two because obviously it's the prime. Um, two and <coughs> 60. Two and 60. Circle the two because it's prime. Two and 30. Two and 30. And it's always a good idea to keep doing two, 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 two as long as you can. Um, two and 15. 2 and 15. There's your prime one. And then 3 and 5. Well done. 3 and 5. Good. Okay. So over here then, 240, the product of the prime factors is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay. Now, if you did that in your calculator, what answer would you get? 240, obviously, because we've broken it down. We've divided it and divided it and divided it. So it's got to come to 240, hasn't it? 
Okay, so these are your prime factors. Now, if you wanted to write it differently, you could say 2 to the 4 times 3 times 5. Okay, but remember, for the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple, you need them written out separately. Okay, 370 then. Who'd like to do the um, factor tree for that? Uh, you can up into 37 and 10. Well done. 37 and 10. The big question is, though, is 37 a prime? It is, isn't it? Yes. And then we break up into 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Well done. Okay, so the prime factors of this one are 2 and 5 and 37. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a funny one, this. It's not... I probably should have made it 360 or something, so it was a little bit more, we've got more factors. But it still works, because we still know what we have to look for. Yes? For the lowest common multiple, then, uh, what would it be? Because you don't well, have any doubles to take away. Well, we'll see. Okay. We're going to look at the highest common factor first. Now, what was the thing I said to you yesterday that's a little bit counterintuitive about highest common factor? Yeah, that's right. The highest common factor is actually smaller than both those numbers. And then the lowest common multiple is actually bigger than both the numbers. That's right. So, how do we find the highest common factor? What do we look for? Is it the highest number in If we were listing all the normal factors, yes, but we're listing the prime factors. So, what have we got to look for? Um, two prime factors that are the same? Yeah, the fa prime factors that are the same. So we've got a 2 in this one and a 2 in this one. Okay? And we've got a 5 in this one and a 5 in this one. But no 37. So the highest common factor is 2 times 5, which is 10. That's right, 10. Okay. Now, the lowest common multiple, this is going to be a big number, so you're definitely going to need your calculators for this. What would we have to do to find the lowest common multiple? Would you times all of the time factors of 220 and all the factors of uh, You could, but that wouldn't give you the lowest one. Would you go 10 times 2, 2, 2, 3? Yes, so what you do, you take the ones that are in common and use them once, okay? Do you remember? So they're the ones that are in common. We use the, You don't need to put them twice, you use them once because they both div already divide by 10. So if we, if we divide it by 10 and divide it by 10, okay, you've done it to both of them. Now you then look at the others. So then it's times 2, times 2, times 2, times 3, and then this one. So these ones that we missed and this one here, what does it come to? Um, 20,200. 20,200. Yeah, I was going to say... Three? I said I found 20. Right. No, come on, let's try again. Oh, two one. times five oh, yeah. my feet, my feet, my feet. times two is 20, times two is 40, times two is 80, times three is 240. Now times it by 37. 8,880. 8,880. Is that right? Um, my okay. I had times between the two and the five, so I 25 times Ah, oh, that's right. So you've got to be careful with that. Yeah. Okay, right. Do you want to stop? Stop there. Stop.